doing the Kaepernick. Frito Lake, yeah, you know that I'm stacked out of tattoo face, so you can see my blessing me. It's some niggas that really just want. What is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I know it's been a hot minute. It's been about a month since I posted a video, but I'm back and I'm coming in hard. So, if you guys can tell the difference, I'm filming on a new camera. I just got a G7X. My old Canon T3i was just so bulky. It was hard to move around and it was just hard to just use in everyday situations. And this camera you can actually fit in your pocket. So everybody knows the G7X, pretty much what every vlogger uses. So far since I've gotten it, I've fell in love with it. Seems like an amazing camera. But if you guys have been following my Instagram, if you guys don't, make sure you guys follow it. That should be good. Uh, you guys know that I did sell the 370Z. I know, kind of sucks. Um, I've been here before, sold the car that I said I was going to keep. But um, two main things that I really think about when I'm doing a build or anything like that on YouTube or just in general is one, the interaction with you guys and um, it just wasn't that interactive. Like I've had a 370 before, it's not that cool but I'm going all in right now for a project that I have in the future that I've wanted to do for a really long time. I just haven't had the balls to send it. So we're at Magnus's right now and uh, you guys know that his black 86 is almost done being swapped. It's literally 99% done, it just hasn't started yet. Like it's cranking and it's just uh, not firing. But um, the other 86, the blue one that the motor in the black one is out of, is sitting right there and I actually just bought that car and I'm gonna show you guys it right now. So this is Magnus's black 86, you guys already know. Um, it's almost completely done. Engine's fully inside there. We just, like I said, can't get it to start. It's just not getting spark at all, so that sucks. We tried to wire some weird stuff in, but can't figure it out. Um, but soon enough, this will be done, and we will be swinging this thing soon, hopefully. Come along to this side. This is my new 1984 A86 SR5 hatchback. And you guys know that this flew up a curb, Magnus's uh, old friend was driving it and he went straight up a curb so that's why Magnus took the engine out putting in the black one because that one is actually really really clean and uh, he just had this one sitting uh, he offered to sell it to me and I basically bought it so one of the main things with this car uh, that he wanted was the seats so the seats in this thing before were mint uh, these are the ones that originally came out of the black one they're GTS seats but uh, you can see that they're really ripped but at least they are there and OEM uh, it's got a full dash and center console he kept his steering wheel that was in this before so he gave me this SR5 steering wheel to put in it's got back seats and uh, that little privacy cover right back there he actually let me keep so that's pretty awesome of him but for the body there's some stuff that I'm definitely going to need to fix uh, you can see right here is uh, some Bondo and uh, I'm gonna fix that he actually bought red wrap for this car and uh, he actually didn't end up wanting to go red. So in the deal, he gave me the red with the car for an amazing deal, so shout out Magnus, thank you very much. So this car will eventually be going metallic red by 3M. If you guys remember or have been following the channel, my last 370Z, the silver one, I actually wrapped that one in the same color red. So right here, after it flew up the curb, um, a fence pole hit that, and so that's why there's some Bondo. Magnus tried to do um, a little repair job after it happened, but I'm definitely gonna have to sand that down and redo it because it looks like there's already forming some cracks. We do have the hatch seals. That one's just popped up because of the Bondo and stuff, but um, the hatch seals are there. Those are pretty rare to find, but uh, yeah, we have them. That's pretty much it. I ordered these uh, Kuki headlight covers. Um, Magnus has them on his. You can see right here, they're like kind of reflective. I like that a lot, so I ordered it. I could have went with just the black ones, but the kooky ones are just uh, 30 bucks more and they're a way better touch. So let's pop this hood. It's not connected, but as you can see, engine bay has no engine. Uh, right there is when it flew up a curb, it actually broke a little bit of the spot welds up here. So what Magnus actually ended up doing was had a welder come over here and completely welded the tops of the shock towers. Uh, it was probably overkill but it did strengthen the chassis a little bit more. That was definitely a smart thing he could have done. Uh, down there, Magnus believes that the steering rack is bad. I don't, so I'm just going to replace the tie rods and then hopefully, uh, yeah, it's not bad. But uh, what I can see, it definitely needs a new boot on that side. But for the most part, this thing's pretty mint and then I just need to pop the new engine in here. Right here is the old engine that came out of this car. Um, Magnus bought this car and then on the way home, 
we were going over the bridge and he actually hit a dip and then this car like rod knocked or something so this engine is completely bad uh, we're gonna go actually pick up a new engine today and uh, that's why I got my little brother here so that us three can pick up this engine put it in the back of the Subaru and then get a new engine for the blue 86 so how you been man he hasn't been on the channel in a hot minute Good. he wanted the mint seats out of that one like I was showing you they are over there and they're pretty beautiful oh yeah we haven't showed them Magnus's new wheels so we made like a half vlog um, a couple of weeks ago and uh, so these wheels were off of the blue 86 that flew up a curb and you can see the damage was actually pretty crazy that's actually worse than I thought honestly but so you can see it flew up a curb completely bent those wheels right like how long after you got these wheels like literally like a month maybe two months maybe a couple months so those wheels were pretty nostalgic he got those from Kruber and I believe he got them for a good deal but we found these in Seattle and they're literally twice the dish as his old ones so that's way doper so these are 15 inch rims and those are 13 inches but have literally a double uh, negative offset. You can see the dish is twice as big as the other one, or maybe three times. That shit is crazy. Yeah, I think three times. <laughs> so he got those for the black 86. Comment down below if you think that it's gonna fit. I think I think it might fit, but you never know. He definitely needs some stretch tires, more of the stretch than he was running before. Yeah. But like yeah. Stretch, like at least a stage two stretch. Yeah. So these uh, super wheels in the front of this car will be going on my 86 and then the fronts of that car will be going back on here. We got this guy with the fresh drip. About to start his sophomore year in high school soon. Got his hair freshly blonded on the gang cuz. So we're gonna chill out. We're waiting for the guy to pick up the new motor and uh, while we're waiting we're just gonna be trying to slam this 20 pack of White Claws. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I love this new camera. Honestly, like, it feels hella good. Like, it's gonna be so good to have something that's I can just pull out of my pocket and just go on the go. So I am back for good, guys. Like, I'm not going away. I just spent a bunch of money on this camera, and I definitely want to start pushing out videos a lot more. Uh, this car is gonna remain here because Magnus and his grandma are awesome, and they're actually letting me do the whole swap here so I have a month to get the whole engine in and out running and driving and I think that shouldn't take long at all especially if we're picking up the engine today uh, still need to get a hoist but yeah for the A hey, <laughs> don't be touching yeah, I can do it wait out. <laughs> what hey you're the one that knocked the you didn't out. tell me about that you knew you knocked the car in what are you talking about it takes like okay this is saggier than your ex-girlfriend dude I don't have any ex-girlfriends. <laughs> what is this? Save it with the Safeway card. Yeah. I, I don't want no Safeway cards hanging in my... I want your mirrors off your 8.6. <laughs> Too bad. Let me go check those out. Oh. Let me see if those are in good condition. Keep your hands off my 8.6. Oh! These are mint. Yes. They're, they're mint. Check it out. Check it out. Oh, I don't <laughs> know if they're bent. They're super glued. Oh, oh. oh. No, that's super notchy. Boom. There's a ketchup packet in there or something. Wait, really? Open it. What? <laughs> it's like some honey from KFC. Oh, mustard. <laughs> it matches your hair, dude. The paper challenge, you remember that from middle school? Like trying to fold like a paper, paper seven, seven times or something? Times, yeah. Right there, dude. There we go. Ice, ice baby. Maybe one more on the top, maybe. That's good for like freeway speed, though. Yeah. So that's what, so we're just chilling right now. We're going to wait uh, for the guy to hit me up for the engine, and then as soon as he does, we're gonna pack up that engine inside the back of the Subi, and then we're gonna go get my new engine. So we're gonna get this project done pretty quickly. Pound the white claw, pound it, pound it, pound it, pound it, pound it. All right, we got Magnus and Jerry strapping up the engine. We got it inside the trunk. Uh, I thought it was gonna be a lot harder than it was, but it actually was pretty easy. We pretty much rolled it into the back of the trunk. And it looks pretty good in there. But yeah, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take this over to Chadwick's house. He has a badass A86 hatch, just like this, but with the S2000 motor in it. It's pretty insane. So hopefully we can get that on video. 
If not, uh, we're going to be going picking up the new engine soon. Uh, he said he was going to hook me up with everything I need to uh, run um, this engine or the new engine in my car. So hopefully either his new engine comes with uh, all the accessories or we're going to be pulling everything off here. So this is your guys' contraption you got going? Yeah. Oh, Looks pretty good. Should be easy. Four points. Looks really good, guys. Thank you. Don't whip it. All right, cool. So next thing you know, we're going to be over at Chadwick's. Be there soon. Woo! We are back. So we didn't end up uh, recording anything, but we got the new engine right here. And uh, yeah, it should be a good running engine. We got it stripped, but I got all the parts in that little box right there in the white. But uh, we found a lot of stuff out about Magnus' 86. Uh, we're trying to figure out how to get it started, but the guy I actually bought the car from said he can come through and help us whenever he, uh, whenever we need it. But um, yeah, we definitely need it soon. So his 86 was hella crazy. Like I said, it had like a S2000 swap in uh, in it, Super and it was rare. like a Fuda, or I mean, what is it called? Uh, Fujiwara. Yeah, Fujiwara. Well, here it is. This is the new motor. Just have to put all the accessories on it. I got to keep the oil cooler, so that's really sick. Uh, everything should be in here. I put all the bolts inside this little sippy cup I had, but uh, definitely in the next episode, we're gonna be putting everything on this engine and then hopefully putting the engine inside uh, the 86. So as soon as we get the engine in here, we can start putting the harness on and then getting it running. And as soon as it gets running, we can start doing the body work. Uh, body work consists of hiding this little hole right here, fixing this little rust right here, obviously fixing the bondo, fixing that bondo. There's some rust on this hatch you can see right here so I got to sand all this down it just needs like a whole new sanding and everything but like I said this is going to be wrapped red what I'm talking about this is good good job this is a good job <laughs> you want to know it's a good job hey <laughs> give me your damn white claw <laughs> get you motherfucker <laughs> so I'm definitely digging this camera it works really good um definitely liking the 86 comment down below if you guys are feeling the 86 really low budget uh as soon as the car is done uh as soon as the car's done, I'll give you guys a price breakdown. It's you guys are gonna be really surprised how low of money I'm going to be into this car, and uh, how high of money Magnus will be into his 86. But I'm just kidding. This thing's super clean, clean title. Just uh, is spray painted black, which kind of sucks. But yeah, like I said, that's pretty much it for today's video. We're gonna just finish it up uh, right here. Probably gonna get home tomorrow morning. I'm gonna come here at the break of dawn, and we're gonna start cracking on the new engine. So that'll be sick. Hope you guys like this video. Comment down below. Should be good. Is out. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no. No, cut. Cut. <laughs>